there, nerdlings. Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, the show where we shout information at you from your computer or your smartphone. I'm Maud Garrett. I'm Sam Basher. Let's hop right into it, starting off with some casting news. We may have our lead actor for the live-action Death Note adaptation. There were whispers and rumblings of Warner Brothers adapting the popular manga anime franchise, but last week it was finally confirmed. Oh yeah, but who is our lead actor, Sam, who looks a little short today? It's Nat Wolf from the hit action films like uh, The Fault in Our Stars, oh. The Intern, mm. and Paper Towns. Wolf is in talks to play the lead, which most people have speculated to be Light Yagami. Death Note, for those of you who have missed out on the hit franchise, is about Light Yagami, a boy who stumbles upon a notebook that kills people who have their name written in its pages. That is the very, very, very basic synopsis of the beloved series, but are you interested in seeing Nat Wolf play an Americanized Light Yagami? How would you like director Adam Wingard to interpret this Death Note? Were you a fan of your next and the guest? Let us know in the comments down below. But moving on, it's time to get sensual. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yes, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice has been given a PG-13 rating. Oh, PG-13. How naughty. The official rating is... Are you trying to be sensual? Yeah. Do I know what sensual means? Do you think you're being sensual right now? Give me your best sensual... Just say sensual, sensually. Sensual. What? Ah, sensual. Mm. The official rating is due to intense sequences of violence and action throughout, and some sensuality. So maybe Batman and Supes are gonna share long, passionate gazes, maybe in the rain or in the moonlight. You know? Sam, stop trying to be sexy. Uh, Wonder Woman's in the movie. I'm guessing Wonder Woman has a little bit of sensual time. No, no, no. She's got another man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Trevor. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I forgot that Wonder Woman is obsessed with you, Sam. You showed her your sensual side mm -hmm. and she went weak for it and hasn't looked back. Thank you, Maud. I'm glad that you understand. Oh, Sam. Don't be envious, Maud. Just be excited for our future and the fact that Michael Shannon is going to be messing with the DC fanboys from now until the movie comes out. A few weeks ago, Shannon jokingly said in an interview that he will be wearing flippers in Batman v Superman and the internet flipped their collective shit. Shannon cleared up the obvious rumors almost immediately, saying that it was clearly a joke. Shannon stated in a more recent interview that when people ask him about Batman v Superman, he sometimes just makes things up, which is pretty fantastic. I mean, think about it. Actors in superhero genre movies are constantly being yeah. questioned about the upcoming flicks or the fate of their character. Why not have a little bit of fun? Keep the magic alive. Leave some surprises. Like if you're getting interviewed, maybe say three lies and one truth and keep everyone guessing. Agreed. But Mike, I'm gonna call you Mike because I'm about to be real with you. If you keep playing with my emotions, I'm gonna have to put my foot down and write a strongly worded but polite internet comment that you'll probably never see. You've been warned. Put your foot down or put your flipper down? And it turns out it's not just movies getting some super fun theme park rides these days, video games are also being given the theme park treatment too. We've heard that Nintendo will be teaming up with Universal to create rides based off Nintendo characters and games. Ubisoft jumped on board the bandwagon and said that by 2020, Malaysia will have a theme park centered around Rabbids, Just Dance and Assassin's Creed. And now Bioware has its sights set on a Mass Effect theme park attraction to open a Great America in Santa Clara, California by next year. The dynamic 3D adventure will use a live performer as a host and keeping with the theme of the game, you'll be transported to another planet where you'll battle larger-than-life foes in a bid to save the day. Nay, the universe. Mass Effect Andromeda, the game, is actually coming out in 2016 too, so that will really have a mass effect on the fans, on their lives, on the you know, their time and their bank accounts. In some weird news, it seems that Pokemon butts are all the rage now. Most people would say, oh, look at Pikachu's little face. Oh, Charmander is so cute. Cloyster is just... It's just a vagina, sorry, that was a bad example. Anyway, when people talk about the cute aspects of the Pocket Monsters, they usually are referring to the facial regions of the animal's anatomy. Not anymore! Nintendo's latest Pokemon craze, called Hip Hop Parade, is a line of Pokemon-themed pillows featuring six fan-favorite Pokemon faces and rear ends. We get it, Nintendo. People want plushy push-in cushions, cause sex sells. So if you want to sleep comfortably on the plush behinds of your favorite furries, head on down to the local Pokemon Center and pick up a butt today. People are gonna do gross things to these, aren't they? I think it would be a, sh a shock if they didn't. Actually, Pikachu should shock you if you try to do the Pikapoo. <laughs> Ooh. Everyone's shaking their head at me right Ooh. now. <laughs> And lastly, there's a lot of he said, she said that happens in Hollywood, but this news about a Game of Thrones movie one minute and then not happening the next really plays with my emotions and that's not okay. Hey. 
Here's what went down. Apparently George R. R. spoke to the Daily Star at the HBO After Party Post Emmys and confirmed that a movie was happening. Naturally, the Daily Star published this news nugget immediately and fans rejoiced at the exciting prospect. Now the quote was from George R. R. Martin, there will be a movie, but I will not be involved. I have too much to do. I have two more books to finish. The pressure is on. I'm such a slow writer and the fans get upset that I don't write faster. Sounds like a pretty legitimate quote. Especially that last part yeah. there. And further reports suggested that the timeline would be different from what we've been seeing in the series, meaning favorite characters who have could resurface and be explored further. Word is George has written 1,200 pages covering wow. more than 8,000 years of history, so there's a lot to work with. Yeah, but words are wind, Sam. And it seems that George has caught a whiff of this wind because when asked on his blog whether the interview claiming that a movie is in the works was false, he responded, yes, completely false. No one is working on any movie just now, and if there was a movie, it would not be about Robert's Rebellion. And then George R.R. R. kindly reminded the poster to keep the comments relevant. That is a stern burn. Ouch. So this checks off just to be one more disappointed rumor to leave us confused with the world. So that's it from us. Do you want a Game of Thrones movie or for peeps to get benetted when they lie? Benetted? Benetted is when you get beheaded and your name is Ned. Oh, spoiler Aww. thing you want. Do you think Michael Shannon said some of Throne of Lies? What poke butt will you get your grubby little hands on? And do you want to board the Normandy so that you can save the world? Nay, the universe? Let us know. Hey nerds, listen up. For Human Peoples is the number one place to buy unique quality merchandise inspired by your favorite pop culture icons. Hell, they've got everything. T-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, backpacks, lunch boxes, phone cases, laptop cases, and most importantly, Sam's butt in these leggings. <laughs> they are vibrant, comfortable, and the quality you just can't beat. Whether you're dressing up for a night out or working out the good old gymnasium, FHP leggings get the job done. Hey, rumor has it they also inspire greatness. Damn! <laughs> just head over to fourhumanpeoples.com now to pick up your pair of inspiration today. Also, if you've never bought anything from Four Human Peoples before, use the coupon code SFNERD for a one-time 10% discount off of your entire order. Damn, son. That's a good deal. That's Sam Basher. This is Maud. Bye. Bye. Oh, nearly you, made that, you made it. Oh. You made it. Almost, almost dead. We might almost. we would have had to redone the whole video. All hail our exploding squid overlords. <laughs> May they pass our boat and choose another. You can't just stop. Seriously, what's this? What is that? What have you used that? It's what is it? For um it's, you know, it's uh, when you're thinking like oh, man, I'm thinking this, so I gotta use the blue diamond thing.